Looking to find the Christian love of your life? Then this might be the video for you. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be reviewing Christian Cupid. As you can tell, this is a dating site purely for those who are of the Christian faith and looking to find somebody else who is of the Christian faith as well. Before we dive into the video though, are you sure that this is the site that you should be looking into? You have to take a free online dating app quiz. This will pair you with your perfect online dating app that is specifically suited for you. It's a quick, fun, easy, free quiz that you can take by clicking the link in the description or popping up above me. And you should totally take that and then comment below what your results are because I'm really curious if Christian Cupid actually is the perfect dating site for you. And while you're checking out the links in the description, you always should check out our Online for Love deals page because we always get all sorts of different deals for different dating sites. So if you are thinking of signing up for any online dating app or site, just check our deals page first because you never know what kind of deals you could find there. And why spend more money if you don't have to? But yes, now let's move on to the review of Christian Cupid. And I've actually separated this review into five key sections of all the things that you need to know before deciding to sign up for this site. We're going to be talking about the features of Christian Cupid, the demographics, the prices, the ease of use, and the success rates. Let's get started with the features of Christian Cupid. So to start out to register for Christian Cupid, the whole sign up process is very quick. It probably won't take you more than about three minutes to get all set up. You'll just start by giving out your basic information like you would on any other dating site, like your name and your email, etc. Then you'll be able to fill out your profile with relevant info about you and upload some photos of yourself, all the basic things like that. There's also a few questions the site asks of you. And though you can take um, a really short amount of time to fill this info out, I would actually recommend slowing it down and really thinking about how you're filling out your profile and what photos that you're choosing, because this can really make or break your online dating experience. Especially if you're looking for a serious long-term relationship, um, the more thought and care you kind of put into your profile, usually the better. You don't want to write an essay about yourself or a novel, but you want to write some key info, show your personality, and have some good quality, up-to-date photos, and that should go a really long way. The amount of features that you'll be able to use in Christian Cupid differ depending on the type of member that you are, or if you are a member or not, but we'll get into the nitty-gritty of the membership later on. So the first feature we're going to dive into is about making contact. There are many options on how to go about this. So once you click on a member's profile picture, you'll be given five options. The first option is one of the most basic and um, common, I suppose, in all dating apps out there, which is just the ability to like their profile. If you are liking what they wrote about themselves, their photos, their general vibe, you can like them. If you really like someone, you have an option above liking, which is adding a member to your favorites. So you can add someone to your favorites if you want to kind of step it up from just the like option. And that really shows that you're interested in somebody and a lot of members will do this because it is a free uh, feature, whereas messaging is not free. So sometimes people will go ahead and put people in their favorites list to show that they're very much interested and would like you to message them if you are a paying member. So how the messaging works on the site, by the way, is if you are a free member where you're not paying anything to be on the site and the person you are messaging or who messages you is also a free member where they are not paying for a membership, then you can send each other messages, but neither of you can read them or respond to them. However, if just one or both members are paying to be on the site, then you can freely send and receive messages and chat between each other. You also have the ability to report people if you feel that they are bots or scanners or something along those lines. And separately, you can also choose to block people if you so wish. This is a big way that Christian Cupid aims to help its admins and its members to create a safe space to meet uh, Christian people. Christian Cupid also possesses a very detailed map matchmaking algorithm that uses your basic information to help find matches that would be well suited for you. Along with that, there are a lot of search and filter features that are available to both paying members and free members that can really help to narrow down the type of person that you're looking for. Though of course the premium members do get access to many more search features than the free members get. You can search for people based on whether they smoke, or if they drink, you can search for a certain height, eye color, hair color, and weight. You can search for whether they have kids, Kids or if they want kids, what country they're located in, and how fluent they are in English, among many other options. Apart from that, you can change your Cupid tags. Now, Cupid tags you can think of 
as basically hashtags for your dating profile. Changing your Cupid tags will help the matchmaking algorithm change based on the tags that you are choosing so they will find someone who fits your personality and the hashtags that they chose. If you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So when you give us a thumbs up, it really helps out us here at Online for Love because it shows YouTube that people are enjoying our content so then it pushes our content out for more people to see. So we'd really appreciate your thumbs up and subscriptions. So let's move on to the second section, which is the demographic makeup of Christian Cupid. Christian Cupid has a total worldwide user base of 60,000. Of all of the users, right around 25% or 16,000 users come from the United States. 60% of the users are male and 40% are female. As far as the most popular age ranges go, 35% of users are between 35 to 44. Then 25% of the users are between the ages of 25 to 34. Then 20% are aged 45 to 54. 12% are 18 to 24. And 8% are 55 years or older. And obviously the demographic base of Christian Cupid is made up of faith-based people who are looking for long-term serious relationships with other people who share the same faith as them. This is a dating site that you would go on to make serious connections and not something that's good for um, something casual. Obviously this is a serious relationship type of site. By the way, if you forgot to like and subscribe, you can do it now, no worries. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But we're gonna move on to the pricing of Christian Cupid. So there are two types of premium memberships on Christian Cupid. There is the gold membership and the platinum membership. Each of these has three subscription plans depending on whether you want to subscribe for one, three, or 12 months. So the prices for the gold membership goes as follows. For one month of gold membership, it'll cost you $10.99. For three months of gold membership, it'll cost you $22.98 total or $7.66 per month. For 12 months, it'll cost you $45.99 total or $3.83 per month. Now the platinum memberships for Christian Cupid goes as follows. One month will cost you $14.99. Three months will cost you a total of $29.98 or $9.99 per month. For 12 months, it'll cost you $59.99 or five per month. Now let's talk about the different features that you get for the different type of memberships. Gold members get the abilities to communicate with all members whether they are paying or not. They'll no longer have ads, they'll have the ability to browse anonymously, and they will receive VIP support when needed. Platinum members get the same benefits as gold, plus you'll be able to be ranked above other members and seen more on the website. You'll be able to put twice as many photos on your profile. It'll be highlighted among the others, and you'll get access to in-depth matchmaking algorithms. So if you're looking to get a membership for any online dating app or site, you should always check out our deals page. We here at Online for Love are always getting awesome deals with all different types of dating apps and dating sites and you never know what kind of deals we're going to have for you. So always check out the link in the description. It'll take you right to our free deals page and you'll be able to get all sorts of discounts for different apps and sites. Now let's go ahead to the fourth section and talk about the ease of use of Christian Cupid. So right away we can tell you that the ease of use of Christian Cupid is very easy. It's um, very simple to use and user-friendly. The website is laid out very clearly and it's very simple to go through all different profiles on the site. Finding different features is also very straightforward and straightforward to use as well. As far as profile quality goes, Christian Cupid offers very, very detailed profiles. First, you can see if someone is a verified member or not by seeing if they have a verified badge on their profile. You can also verify your own account by uploading some sort of government documentation like a driver's license or passport photo. You can also easily recognize premium members because they'll have a special symbol on their profile. People's profile pictures are also free to view for any member on the site. That is really convenient because some other sites will actually block people's pictures until you pay. So it's pretty cool that they're free for everyone to see. Christian Cupid keeps its profiles detailed by offering up some questions and some prompts for you to answer if you so choose. There's an about me section and some of the prompts include questions like the person I'm looking for dot 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 etc. So people can really take advantage of that and write a lot about themselves. And as we mentioned earlier with all this search and filter features, this just means that many people are filling out a lot of details about themselves like their education level, what kind of job that they do, if they have or want kids etc. There's also match indicators. So on somebody's profile, there'll be a green mark if their info or likes or whatever are matching yours and a red mark if you guys disagree. At the very end of the page, you can see even more additional information like their looks, lifestyles, hobbies, backgrounds, and cultural values. Beneath that is something each user has written about themselves in a few sentences. 
Across the top of the main page, you can see the current members online, you can see your matches, search, messages, and activity tabs. On the right side, you can see settings and your profile setup. Christian Cupid keeps a really clean interface with just enough features to keep the website interesting but not cluttered. Whether you're tech savvy or not, I can't imagine that most people would have a lot of trouble with this site. It should be pretty easy to use. What's even easier than using a dating app though is just giving this video a like and subscribing. Now let's move on to the fifth section of this Christian Cupid review and let's talk about the success rate of the site. Well, the first thing to note is that the user base of Christian Cupid is not the largest. There's only about 60,000 current members. So that means even if you do find somebody who you are interested in and click with, they might be far away from you. Though most members are from the United States, so maybe you won't have to move too far if you're from the States. The good thing about a site like Christian Cupid though is that when you're on there, you know that whoever you're talking to is basically on the same page as you as far as your faith and religion goes. If you are looking for someone who shares your same convictions, then this might be a great place to try even if you might have to move or be long distance or maybe be a good place to just meet people to talk to about your religion. But you will surely find people who take your religion as seriously as you do. I would suggest trying out this site for free at first and if you're really enjoying it and you're thinking that you're having success with it, then I would go ahead and say it might be a good time to upgrade to one of the membership options, but definitely check it out for free at first and see how you feel about it. But that just about wraps up this Christian Cupid review. If this is not the site for you, or if you're just interested to see what other dating apps and sites are out there, you should definitely check out our free online dating app quiz. It's super fun. It'll pair you with your perfect online dating site. The link is in the description and popping up above me now. Also make sure to check out our deals page. Once again, the links in the description and popping up above me now, because you never know what type of awesome deals we're going to have for you here at Online for Love for all different types of dating apps and sites. Also make sure to check out our other videos that are popping up on either side of me here. Um, they're really good, trust me. I'd love to know what do you think about this site? Have you ever used it or have you used a faith-based dating app or site before and how did that go? Definitely leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. But thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you like it and subscribe if you loved it. And hopefully we'll see you here again at Online for Love. Thanks, bye!